In previous videos, we have created this user interface that has an image view, two buttons, and then the grid view below. In this video, we are going to activate the open existing image button by using an implicit intent to invoke the image gallery. With an implicit intent, we don't say exactly how to do something. We simply say that we want to do something, and we let the Android operating system use a predefined library to define how to do what we want to do. We're going to specify what we want to do by using several different things. We're going to use an action constant, and in this case, it's going to be something called action pick. Uh, action pick, pick an item from the data, returning what was selected. Additionally, we want to provide a data and type. Data is going to be where it should look for what we want to pick, and the type is going to be the type of data we want to pick from that location. So what do we want to do? We want to pick something, data, here's where we want to find it, type, here's the type of data we want to find in that location. These three things will come together and form the implicit intent that will open the image gallery. Now I've mentioned before, if you want to make an app quickly, the key is to, of course, not reinvent the wheel, but see what you can borrow from what has already been created. So let's get started. First of all, we have this button called Open Existing Image, and that lives on our layout. In this case, it's Color Capture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that button, and I'm going to assign an on-click attribute or an on-click value. That will give us a method that will be called when the button is clicked. So I select open existing image, I go to the properties view, and I look for on click. On click, I'm going to say on image gallery clicked. I can name it whatever I want as long as it is a legal method name in Java. Okay, and I uh, save. So we already have this wired up to the activity called color capture activity. So to make a method that will listen for that button click, I simply say public void, and then I paste the text that I entered in earlier. Looks like I have a little typo there, so on image gallery clicked. Uh, open parenthesis view, and then letter V. Uh, open curly and close curly. And this is the method that will be invoked when the user clicks on that button. I'll put a little Java doc to that nature. This method will be and then the user clicks a button. View V is coming up as undefined, so Alt Enter will take care of that. Now what I need to do is invoke the image gallery using an implicit intent. Okay, so the first thing is we'll say we need to make the intent. We're going to say intent intent, or let's say intent of uh, picker intent equals new intent, and then we're going to say intent dot action underscore pick. Okay, now don't be misled by what you see in here. First of all, let me go ahead and take care of that red line. Import the class uh, intent. This is just a string under the covers. Intent action pick is just a string and that string is just saying, hey, I want to pick something. Okay, next, where do we want to find the data? Okay, if you remember from a previous video I did, we can use this, thing, this uh, environment type, and then we can call a static method, get external storage public directory. And what that means is get the public directory where certain media types are stored. Okay, which media type? In this case, we're going to say pictures. So I'm going to say environment dot directory, and you see as I know a little, this is a little bit off screen, but it shows all of the different media types we can choose. So environment directory pictures. Okay. In Android Studio, uh, Control Shift V will extract this to a variable. Uh, so we'll say picture directory and enter. Okay. Self a new line. And now what I need to do is I need to say picture directory dot get path. Okay. And once again, control shift V, I can say, uh, yeah, picture directory path is fine. 
I could of course do this on just one line if I wanted. I could nest these together. But for clarity, I'm separating these out so you can see the instructions one at a time. Finally, get a URI representation because that's typically what Android wants to deal with. So URI data equals dot parse, and then we'll say picture directory path. Whoops, picture directory path like so. Uh, again, getting a red line on URI, so Alt-Enter. Uh, tell it to go ahead and import that class, and it does. Okay, uh, now the next thing we need to do is set the data and type. We've created the data. Now we need to set the data, in other words, where we want to look for this media, and we need to set the type. The type is what media do we want to look for. So I'm going to say photo picker intent dot set data and type. And first is the URI data. Next is the type. What should the type be? Well, we come over and look and we see MIME type, multiple internet messaging extensions. These are the different types we can look for. In this case, we're interested in a picture for a color match search. So we want one of the images. PNG, GIF, JPEG, JPEG, bitmap. What if we want them all? If we want them all, we just use the super type here, image, and then the slash, and that's the slash to the left of the shift key on a US keyboard, and then an asterisk. And that simply says, give me any image type. If I wanted audio, same deal. I could specify I only want MP3, I only want MIDI, or all audio by using audio slash and then the asterisk. So that wildcard works with any of these types. So I'm going to say double quote, and then I'm going to say image slash asterisk. So get all image types. Get all image types. And now finally, uh, I'm going to say start activity for result. Okay. And I'm going to give it my intent. Uh, the intent is our photo picker intent. Okay. And now the result, request code, this is a number that we can make up, but we just have to make sure it's a number that has not been used before. Uh, because what's going to happen is we could call multiple intents from this screen. And those intents might return back to us. We need a fingerprint. We need a unique ID to know which intent is which. So this number I put in here is a fingerprint. But the number 20 is kind of a magic number. It really doesn't say anything. Uh, what might be better is if I do a bit of refactoring on this and if I extract a superclass. So right click and refactor. And I'm sorry, not extract superclass, but extract a constant. Okay, right click, refactor, extract. And I know this is a little bit off screen, but constant, control alt C. And what we're going to do is we're going to name this uh, image gallery request. We'll come back and use that in just a moment when we invoke the on activity result method. Before we handle getting a result from the image gallery, let's make sure our image gallery works. I've loaded the app in the debugger in the emulator and I'm going to click on open existing image. Remember this is the button that we just wired up. And you see sure enough when I click this it's going to show me my image gallery. Now, because this is a, an emulator, it just has the camera emulator images here. So uh, not pictures we're used to, but on a real device, this would show everything that is in our SD card in the pictures directory, which are all of the public pictures that our apps have contributed, our camera or any other apps that we might be using. I can pick one. And when I pick one, it's going to take us back to our original activity, hence the start activity for result. So I'll stop this video here because we've shown how to open the image gallery. But in the next video, in the part two, we're going to explore what to do once we get a result back from the image gallery. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.